Welcome back to NBA Cinema. Today we got to talk about Houston Rockets GM Raphael Stone. He addressed the Kevin Porter Jr. thing where he was arrested for assaulting his WNBA girlfriend. And, you know, he just flat out said it. He can't be a part of the organization no more. While he was careful to not go outside of the stipulations of league rules, he did say that, you know, he was aware that when they structured the contract, it was like basketball stuff. As far as him walking to the locker room during the game, it was more conduct around the team. But when you mix in things off the floor, you know, it, it becomes impossible because you're taking a gamble on this man. And this is why I often said that John Lucas was putting his name on the line to help this man keep his NBA career. But let's check out what he had to say. I'll be back. Let's speak to Allegations against him are deeply troubling. Going back uh, a few weeks, as soon as I heard the allegations, <clears throat> I informed his representatives that he could not be part of the Houston Rockets. They understood, and he has not been with the team or around the team or had any interaction with the team since that time and will not be at media day today or in training camp. Um, as it relates to everything else, these are matters that under the CBA are handled by the league, not the team. And what's left for the team to do is to evaluate the, step, the best steps for our organization um, that remain in compliance with the league domestic violence policy. I uh, do have a question, but I wanted to clarify something you said. Will he ever be part of this team again? I, I can't answer that and stay in compliance with the policy. So I, I think that's, again, this is this is now a league matter, and, uh, and, and that's where it's at. Okay. Uh, you structured the contract extension with an understanding that there was some risk with the way the options are and so on. How do you feel now about the gamble that you took? I mean, we structured that contract not with something like this in mind, but but purely as a basketball matter, given at the time of the contract, I think it was 21, and we were trying to figure out how to allocate the op, you know the chances that he would become a really good basketball player, and so that was that that was the reason we structured the contract that way. You're going to have individuals to say, look at Miles Bridges and his ability to continue to play in the NBA and him just getting pretty much most of a year out and the first few games of this season out. Uh, but he'll be able to compete for essentially the same thing. And what I will say is Miles Bridges, it was terrible. You know, all of it's terrible. But as far as him as a teammate, how the Charlotte organization perceived him, He's been pretty decent for them. He's shown improvement in his play, and his teammates really, really like him. Michael Jordan likes him. or Well, Michael Jordan ain't there no more, but I'm saying the owner at the time liked him, whereas Kevin Porter Jr. has been moved around a few times because of conduct issues, and his name is pretty bad around the league. And it, This was more of like John Lucas going to bat for him, allowing him to stay in the NBA and hopefully, like, John Lucas was looking at it like maybe this kid will grow up one day and these things won't be problems no more. But I think he may have just squandered his last opportunity because, honestly, I can't see anyone picking him up after this. You know, they he won't be back with the Houston Rockets. It was pretty clear there um, without him being able to say, the GM that is, without him being able to just explicitly say he'll never play for this organization again. He can't say that. So, uh, yeah, man, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.